Welcome to Empress Empathic. Like, share, subscribe to the channel. Another week on Earth School. We're in Earth School. <laughs> How's your week going? Hopefully it's going well. This is just a general reading. I don't know why, but getting the feeling it may have to do with love. See what the cards have to say. All right. This is the person you are thinking of. Okay. Persuasive. All right. Expansive, affectionate, indecisive, sociable, considers every angle, vain, <laughs> in constant contact, social butterfly, philosophical talks to problem solve. Um, Due to your communication prowess, your human connections are next level. You crave intimacy, but will overanalyze the ups and downs of a relationship. This person is uh, Mercury in the seventh house, Libra. I balance. All right. So I'm guessing social butterfly vibes, right? All right, let's see what the other person is in terms of your energy, like what you're exuding at this present moment. All right. Struggles with material possessions. Innately intuitive, generous, naive, unrealistic, struggles with boundaries, low self-worth, can't hold on to money, compassionate, poor money decisions, plagued by money problems when spiritually aligned with your higher self, you can master the ability to intuitively create abundance and wealth. So this is your energy. You're having issues holding on to things. Um, let's see what we can do to work on that. All right. I think a lot of people are caught up in the material realm who are low vibrational. I'm just going to keep it a book. There are a lot of folks out here who believe for whatever reason uh, material possessions are everything and they're not um, you also have to work on your soul okay I'm hoping somebody hears that all right what's the tea on this person savage acting ruthless inconsiderate of others no fucks given yeah that's this energy here the struggles with material possessions um flip it if you want to um this could be your energy or this could be your energy um you know but typically someone who's into the whole material possession issue and all those different things um they tend to not really care about anything else all right which is why it's so ironic you end up losing it all anyway the cleanse, detox, purification, getting rid of negativity, good mood every day. You see how I, uh, how I split this up? It's just interesting. All right. So we have a person on one end who is, you know, a social butterfly, persuasive. And then there's another person here who's struggling with material possessions. They're not so concerned about hanging out doing different things because, you know, they don't have the money to, I'm supposing. All right. If there were ever a song that this person who struggles with material possessions could sing, what would it be? <laughs> Isn't that ironic? All I ask, like somebody who's struggling with that, they're always asking for something. I will leave my heart at the door. I won't say a word. They've all been said before, you know? So why don't we just play pretend like we're not scared of what's coming next or scared of having nothing left? Look, don't get me wrong. I know there's no tomorrow. All I ask is if this is my last night with you, hold me like I'm more than just a friend. Give me a memory I can use. Take me by the hand while we do what lovers do. It matters how this ends. Because what if I never love again? Well, damn. Okay. So all this person has is their heart in their hand. Okay. 
if there were ever a song this other person would just sing, what would it be? <laughs> uh, let's see. Ooh, child. Mm. It can all be so simple. But you'd rather make it hard. Loving you is like a battle, and we both end up with scars. Tell me who I have to be to gain some reciprocity. See, no one loves you more than me, and no one ever will. Damn. <laughs> Ouch. X factor is an indication of where that went. It's over. It's a dub. Stick a fork in it. It's done. Right? So sad for the person who, you know, wants to have this one last night. What are the vibes on this person over here who's struggling with material possessions? Guilt. I never cheated, but I did contemplate it more than once. Okay. I guess this person is like, I'm out. Um, maybe the person that they got with ended up cheating on them. And um, they didn't expect that since they were actually trying to be, you know, chased to that relationship. And it wasn't equal. There was no reciprocity. All right, the other en energy. Relief. I am so happy that I no longer have to pretend with you. Dang. Okay. I guess the cat's out the bag. And um, both parties know what's going on. And there's no more playing games. This person's having issues with abundance. Let's get from the abundance deck and see what spirit suggests. All right. Signs. Instincts are the message from the inner divine. Yeah. So, you know, there are signs of, there were always signs. Like, you kind of knew. You knew what you were getting into, but still you jumped in head first. Right? That's not wisdom. That's just acting ruthless and inconsiderate of others, not even caring. And you get, you know, you, you get what you give, so to speak. This is the other energy. When the ego finally sees the utter madness of trying to control everything, you come to a sacred crossroad in your own evolution. Change. Yeah. Yep. You get to a point where you realize, you know, you have to get to the conclusion in your mind of that peace, you know? Anyway, I hope this is helpful to somebody. Just a real quick energy read. Like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day.